Lulu Kog'Maw is definitely a scary combination, especially when they get to late game, but hopefully with Emacs Arcane Comet, uh, we can pressure him early and then delete him with Lethality ults in the late game. So let's see if we can get the first three melee minions. Let on an E. Oh, okay, I already missed one. That's a bad omen. Yeah, they're pushing. Hello, fellow misfortunes over on YouTube as well. We are uh, in Platinum 1 currently on the Unranked to Diamond account. So the journey is coming to a close. Slowly but surely, and in this game, we play more like a, more like a caster style misfortune. I haven't really, uh, I mean, I have somewhat underestimated the um, updated. Hang on. Well, that was garbage. She even ran away from me, so I couldn't even heal. But yeah, the upgraded, um, the the bug fixed mana immune is actually quite strong on misfortune. If I'm being completely honest. Hmm. Yeah, cleanse is definitely annoying. I see. We're low on mana right now, but we can pop biscuits if we need to, so it's no big deal, really. Nice, we got the Comet. Let's just ward this here. Just chill. I lost a lot of pressure for, uh, for roaming. Trying to get something done, and it didn't work out for us. Pop a biscuit here and a potion to stay healthy. Kogmo has an easier lane phase than he's supposed to because of double potion, right? Also, Emax Misfortune is just crazy good with skill, uh, yeah, skill shot supports. Can't risk it. to flash to get this over quickly. If we prolong that fight, I might lose it. Lulu will look to stop me. I didn't attack move. I right clicked instead and I might die for it. Yep. I accidentally ran past my auto range and that happened. Ah. Super, super frustrating mechanical error there. At least we can hold this wave, right? Speaking of hold, sitting on 300 gold right now. Diamond hands. <laughs> oh well. At least it's only a kill for Lulu with no assist for anyone, so it's not the end of the world. There we go. Good pressure. Now we can push to punish Kogma for dying. He just respawned though. I wouldn't mind recalling. There's quite a bit of gold I can spend. Oh, you don't hold this, my friend. All right, I need to base. I wanna get my item advantage going. Perfect. This time gets to spend all my gold, which is obviously way better than what happened before. Nice, I'm actually decently strong now. But obviously this build, you want to scale, you really want to get that mana immune transformation. And, uh, well, in the late game, I actually, um, typically I don't upgrade my boots with this build, but I actually have, uh, 
Uh, I'm starting to fancy the Ionian Boots of Lucidity here, because with infinite mana, just being able to spam your spells more is... Um, I think it's worth the 600 gold investment. Not to mention that movement speed is a good stat. <laughs> Makes you less punishable. Speaking of which, I want to ward over the walls. So they, so at least I can react to a potential dive because I'm completely alone right now. Okay, so far so good. He's sitting on boots and longsword dagger. He has so many shields. Guardian, Lulu. It's crazy. But but again, in the current with the current state of affairs, Serpent's Fang is just way too stupid on ranged. I can't really buy it anymore. I have ulti. The EQ combo, getting some good pressure. From level 7 onwards, it will crit as well. Because of E damage, getting the minion low enough. I'm looking for it, looking for the ulti. I guess I'm healing, just to be safe, don't want to gamble with Kog'Maw damage. Also we got Visitors. That's a good teleport. What? Boots. <sighs> Careful. I actually just recall here. Oh, this isn't warded, but it shouldn't be. <sighs> All right. Uh, let's just wait for the gold. I really like boots. Yeah, it's fine. Nice! So far, so good. And we're stacking slightly faster because we've got the mana mean. As we also generate stacks on auto attacks. Kog'Maw is getting f almost free farm. <laughs> but uh, at least we get kills on him. Yeah, no, we just we just keep want to keep spamming our abilities here. We can also use E for wave clear now at level seven, as E plus auto is enough for killing caster minions. Get ulti in three seconds. We can kill Kogma. He's alone. Kog'Maw's Flash. We zone him off the wave too. Super valuable. Go hook. He slowed. Or not. Ivan is here and Lulu too. Okay. I don't yet have Lifesteal. I need Eclipse for that. So the damage will stick for now. Yeah, he's dead. I can't help him. Kog'Maw is almost back in lane, so he will probably get the wave under tower, but I need to recall. Grab double long sword, run back. Maybe control ward too. Uh, Kog'Maw? Why aren't you back in lane yet? What's he doing? Okay, that dragon. All right, makes sense. Makes sense. 
I got ulti in 20 seconds. Can look for a play again. But against Lulu ulti, it's not really that lucrative. See what I mean? She just saves him. Or not. Teleport coming in. I'm running. <laughs> Good thing I have boots. I can't help him, okay. He's just doomed. Ooh, spicy game though. Yeah, Mega Nar. Can't really do much. Thanks, my mistake cost me my flash. I heal for hacker movement speed and for my own. Hmm. Probably a waste of summoners overall. Oh no, I missed the cannon. Bad omen. Get ulti in 20 seconds. I might just stay, ult another wave, and then recall. Yeah, I'll stay for two more waves so I can ult the next one and get a good back timing. Maybe we even get damage on Kog'Maw or a kill, depending on how he plays this. Well, is this a four-man dive? Okay, perfect. We take those. Attacking tower right now, but it's fine. Kiana is here, they're all here. I need to be careful. That I don't get jumped on at 400 HP. Oof, that was close. I failed to dodge the Kiana ulti. And it almost cost me big time. <laughs> Alright, I'm also worth 500 extra gold. So yeah, I need to be careful that I don't just feed that away. I guess we postpone lifesteal further. Sitting on 500 feels bad, but setting a control ward feels worse. And so Reddit Duck's just a big power spike, so we definitely want that. The 1.2k arcane comet damage already. Competitive phase, 400. <laughs> 560. Yeah, arcane comet broken. Get some poke in there. Get ulti in 10. Good teleport. Ulti in 7. 3. Okay. But people got this. Kiana should die. Huh. Need to be careful. I still don't have lifesteal. I need Eclipse. The shield will also provide a lot of safety against assassins. I have ulti, we can dive if they come. Uh oh, Ivern. Well, he's still face tanking my ulti. <laughs> so even if you cleanse the hook, I mean... Uh oh. 
I tried to bait, so she gets away from Thresh. Yeah, perfect. Nice. She took it. Looking for that dragon, aren't they? And or for that dive. Not with me, my friend. Not on my watch. I can just base get Eclipse. It's fine. You just spent my gold. There's no reason to wait for mana. We have way more than we need anyway. Alright, so we kept Kog'Maw relatively small. The rest of the map, uh, I mean we're doing okay-ish, but they got two dragons already and the mid-tower. Mid-tower advantage being big. I need blue trinket. I'll lash the base right now. Or will I? <laughs> yep. <laughs> that is right behind me, there's no way he gets me. Okay. I made a few too many mistakes, it seems. I just, I just fed Nar a solid thousand gold. Oh boy. Alright, at the very least. Yeah, we win this fight hard though, so... Uh, no harm done, right? <laughs> but yeah. Just running out there. I need to position more safely. I have boots. But still, I am vulnerable to getting caught by gap closes. This uh, stride breaker thing is actually quite annoying. I need to get in good positions to ulti. Everyone miss. Just push mid lane past reverse, see how they react. Uh oh. <sighs> I tried to predict her pathing and kill her that way. We have a bunch of cooldown reductions, so it probably doesn't matter. 70 seconds until we get ult back. I just gambled there. And there's no objective on the map we need to fight over, so my ult is not likely to be needed. Careful. Ult on 50. Alright, they don't look like they're challenging my rep buff. Just keep poking them, play it safe, wait for 20 seconds. And then we make another play. Hopefully the good one this time. <laughs> We see Kiana, we see pretty much everyone. Narbot. I hope Ekram is fine. I mean, he's quite fed, he should be. He has armor too. Yeah, we just collapse on Nar now. Let me go. 
Alright, he collapses on us, huh? Oh, they all live. Well, not all of them. Okay, they all die. Jokes on them. But yeah, that was stupid. I... I need to be super careful with that Narvith Sprite Breaker. I'm messing around with that too much. Kog'Maw looks like I can kill him. Just get out of there so I don't get killed. Yeah, Lulu ulti is super annoying. <laughs> They make them so tanky. Oh, they get a good push now. Uh, looks like a stretch. I don't have ulti yet. Also, yeah, there's a dragon on the line. Don't forget that. Ulti in 8 seconds. Two. I want to spend my goals, but at the same time, we're in a good position to trap them if Nar doesn't flank us suddenly. Just do it. If they come, I ult them. They aren't doing Baron, are they? Not without Kog'Maw, right? He's their main DPS. No, 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 no. I'm not getting close to that now. What are they doing there? The Drake is gone. Why do they idle? <laughs> what? That makes zero sense. I need to defend mid lane with my ulti. Without that whisper, it's a little bit annoying, but it's still possible. It's fine. Depending on what they do now. Okay, they're just going for Baron. Fair enough. I can't base right now. I'd like to buy items, but... Well, you know it is sometimes. Attack move. Wait for cooldowns. If only I had last whisper already. And this wouldn't take so excruciatingly long. Now I'm Oom. <laughs> because I haven't based for ages. They're all respawning. We're fighting for too long to take anything. And I desperately need to base. I can't even... Okay. Well. It's alright. Now I finally got my base in. Now I'm so strong. Now I one-shot them all. <sighs> Maybe I do sell boots for Serpent's Fang last item. After Edge of Night. Oh, that's good. Good. Just play around my E. Is he alone, really? Careful with the Kiana. Ulti in 20 seconds. 
2k ma uh, mirror mana damage. Alright, the bug fix is really impactful. For your information, uh, there was a bug where it could only trigger once per spell and not once per enemy per spell. So obviously Misfortune's AoE is way stronger. Alright, I got just got one shot by Kiana. The flank I've been trying to avoid all game, now it happened. Not the best Baron attempt we've ever made. Yikes, Kog'Maw is starting to get useful. Thresh is so dead. Yep. <sighs> now Lulu Kog'Maw is kicking into gear. Alright, we just need to focus. We just need to not get flanked by Kiana, then we're good. There's no way they can uh, they can challenge. Yeah, they just get it. It's alright though. If you play this correctly, they can never take towers. My ulti is way too strong. Drake in 14. Did they start it already? Nope. Need to stay in position. Nice, I got her spell shield. That's super good. I'm dead. Saving Jax, dying myself, not worth. Oh, this Nar. This Nar, my friends. He's popping off. I kind of went too passive with my ulti, I think. I should have walked f uh, up more to cover a m more relevant area. Or actually, wait, we can we still have more item slots than I thought. Yeah, okay, we get Edge of Night now, then we still Doran's for Serpent's Fang, it's okay. I got double Moonstone too, I kind of need healing reduction, right? Well, not if I one-shot them. That did way less than I thought it would. Forty seconds until I get my ulti again. I wanna pop that spell shield. Nice, got it. Arcan Comet triggers spell shields, so that's why this works. I need to let that tower fall. Ulti in 14. Six. Too late though. Four 
Finally. Still keep losing objectives. Let's catch them. Okay, Lulu speed too much. With a 16 though, big power spike. Yeah, it's fine, I get it. <sighs> it sucks on ranged, but it's alright. Need Edge of Night first, though. Safety first, everyone. <laughs> So my last item Serpent's Fang and Campunk Chain Sword. What else? Baron and 30. Four K mana immune damage. What? Insane. I don't know, can we? Kiana pushing. Drake spawning in 40. This is so hard to maneuver. But the later the game goes, the more likely it is that Kog'Maw will just carry. Sad. I wasted my ulti. Now we might lose Baron for this. Oh, I failed to click it. Piano ulti. At least I can one shot the Kogma. How did they mess that up so badly? We might be able to end here. We'll try. When they respawn, I have my ulti for sure, right? Dude. What? Nice! Uh, we completely threw that away. We could have taken Baron, but... It isn't meant to be. Alright. 5,000 Comet damage so far. And 5,000 Mana Mean damage. <laughs> like what? Go get him, my friend. I had ulti! He could have gone in there! Get that out of the way. Deleting Kiana before she can deal damage to us. Super important. Careful with Kogma. I can flash on him if I need to. Okay, she's dead. Oh, I get kited by him. Just take the Baron, take the free stuff, win the game, dudes.
Yeah, we do it. We lose out on movement speed here, but uh, the Grievous Wounds actually one-shotting most of the people anyway. That's extra health, it's extra damage. It's certainly better than sitting on boots. 44% armor penetration with 46 lethality. Quite nice. I'm super vulnerable to getting flanked now, though. Five hundred fifty AD. It's our opening. Yikes. Uh, we still trade with her. Okay, it's fine. It's only Kog'Maw more alive. He can. Okay, he's dead. He was passive. All right, this should finally be game. Yeah, Capac Chain Sword. Maybe I should have just bought Yomus Ghost Blade. Would have allowed me to kill the Kiana. Just end, please. Just do it. End. End. Do it. You can do it. I believe. It's only the two supports. Winning against Kog'Maw Lulu in the late game, and it's not even close, yeah. We played the lane well, we played the rest of the game relatively well too. 5,800 Arcane Comet damage. Yeah, Emax misfortune with Mana Mune is actually crazy, I did not expect that. And, um... Well, but if you want to see a lethality build that's focused more on the Qmax, then click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.